What's going down YouTube? It's your boy United Buns One bringing you another commentary this week. And before I even get into the commentary, I'm pretty sure you all noticed that I bought a new mic. It's a blue snowball bike, and it also makes my voice oh so sexy, baby. Just listen to that quality. Listen to it. Oh my god, I sound like a radio host. This is Power 105. Now let me stop. But anyways, I'm gonna be reviewing the FN file, one of the three guns that you get. At level 25, the other two are the M14 and the G3. I would rate this gun around maybe number two around the rest of them. Simply because it's a mid to far range gun. That's what it's intended for. It's not intended for close range like you can make the G3. You can make it almost like a submachine gun if you wanted to. Whereas the M14 is more of a mixture between sniper rifle and assault rifle. And it actually is really good with a sniper scope. But I'm going to get on to about that into a later video. But for right now, let's just check out this gun. This gun has four different color schemes. You got your flat black right here. Your kind of a olive puke kind of color right here. Your brown digital camo. And then you got your sexy winter camo that I like to put on. Because it just makes it look so bright. And for this gun, I recommend the silence barrel over... The unsilenced barrel simply because people, when they tend to see it, they tend to not pay attention to you. They pay more attention to the radar. You still pop up on the radar, but most people pay attention to sounds rather than the radar. And for grips, you can see right now it's only two, but it's actually more than that if I was to pick like 16 inch barrel. But as you can see, the list actually changes once you put the 16 inch barrel on, it adds more customizability. But I don't really recommend it all those. For the iron sights, the iron sights are pretty good on this gun. But I don't really recommend it. The dot sights on this gun are pretty good. I recommend that one. And this one being my second favorite because I like to use it on my um, AUG sometimes. But for butt stocks, I highly recommend this stock right here. Or this one if you're going for more of a speed mod. And as for magazines, do I really have to explain 10, 20... Which one would you rather have on an assault rifle? But anyways, on to the gameplay. This is just a little quick gameplay that I got today on um, Industry Town. Yeah, I know, kind of tired of it too. But uh, with the servers looking the way they are in the American servers, it's only about four to five games open and they're all Industry Town. So I can just work with uh, what I have. But this gun right here is actually one of my favorite guns in this game. And it's highly overlooked considering that the G3 is like in everybody's opinion way better than this gun but I see it as the same it's just that long range it just feels more effective for me as you can see right there I'm just mowing people down and I just got shot by some guy with a scar right there but you can't really prevent that in the online game cuz there's lag everywhere that you go that's just the way the internet is made some people's internet are faster than others some people are slower but anyways about this gun the pros of this gun really outweigh the cons and the cons are only about two and those are money wise because I'm gonna get to the cons first the cons of this gun this gun costs a lot to repair per game when I mean a lot I mean like you can do like a 50 kill deathmatch make about a hundred or something gold and you'll end up paying about 200 so you actually lose more gold than make more gold with this weapon so I'd recommend using this gun for something like search and destroy or demolition as they like to call it in this or just ma basically objective based games because if you're just playing like team deathmatch you're not gonna earn that much gold from it anyway and the other con about this gun is that it costs a lot to make this gun now I know people at level 25 you might have been saving up and you might not know which one that you want to actually buy between the G3 and the M14 and this but this I would like put it number two S simply because the G3 is actually very like cheap around like 16,000 gold this gun can run you around a good 25,000 to 30,000 and the M14 is just like an arm and a leg in this game it's about 35,000 gold and just if you wanted to build the sniper one the sniper build just the scope alone costs 10 G's now that's a lot 
so you can just pretty much tell that gun is really really good as a sniper and the pros about this gun it has very good range the, the rate of fire is decent enough to control the recoil so you, it allows you to put pinpoint shots on people it's not that much recoil as people make it seem or maybe they just don't know how to use the gun it's actually not that light as the G3 but it's pretty light for a 7.62 cuz I know some assault rifles that use a smaller bullet than this and actually weigh more like the SA-58 that actually weighs more than this gun surprisingly and it actually has a very slow mobility and with the gold parts on this gun this gun is just unstoppable but anyways I just wanted to let all you new subscribers know that probably you didn't know already I'm working on a montage and like thanks to you guys that getting me at 250 so quick I'm actually <laughs> was behind with my clips. I didn't I can't really get any clips cuz if I do, it's all going to be on Industry Town. I don't know if you guys will actually like that or not cuz I do have some clips on other maps, but they're not up to my standards. Like I like a lot of sniper clips and with but with the server like this with only like five rooms up and they're mostly playing Industry Town and Dev Square, it's actually pretty hard to get good clips. So let me know if y'all would like to actually see the montage, because I was still... I was thinking about just giving up on it altogether, but I don't really know. Like, that clip right there, I was going to actually use this in my montage, but I decided to give it to you guys as a little commentary about this gun, because my old commentary... Well, I didn't even... It's not even a commentary, it's a gameplay. My old gameplay about this ga about this gun, it got about 5,000 views, but it got a lot of hate on it, just because it was on a map, and it was kind of dark. And like they accused me of being a hacker and that and like during the gameplay I had a name changer on and it was like I forgot what it was called, I think it was Waka Flocka. LOL at that, but yeah. <laughs> That's when he first came out with hard in the paint and I was like, Nobody else has a name, might as well use it. And like people were accusing me of hacking. I'm not a hacker. I never needed hacks, don't want hacks, never needed hacks, but that's just me. I'm an average player, I'm not the greatest. And also a few things before this video comes to an end. I also forgot to mention that this is the same FAL as the one in Black Ops 2. And I don't know if you new subscribers know, but pretty sure that some of you guys know that I played Black Ops 2. And if you want to see a gameplay of that, of me using the FAL with almost the same setup, leave a comment down below. I'll see if I can do that for you. And right here, I just get a little bit too greedy in this game because this farm protection uh, it's ridiculous. I've been playing too much Black Ops 2. And this game sometimes can remind me a lot of Black Ops 2. <laughs> it's just that the spawning in Black Ops 2, there's no spawn protection. So you can just pretty much run into a guy's spawn and keep spawn camping him. In this game, they kind of prevented that by adding a, like, a 5 second spawn shield. Which is fair enough. But anyways, we're coming to the end of the commentary. This has been your boy United Buns 1. Stay tuned next week for some more videos. Peace. I'm out.